What's up, you guys? We're going to pull some energy and find out what's going on with our Divine Feminines. I know typically we normally see Twin Flame readings and giving us energy regarding the Divine Masculine. Um, right now, I'm just in a point where I honestly feel like a lot of the Divine Feminines are in a point in time and stage in their life where um, they might be ready to release and grow. So... And I know me particularly, I don't want to hear about what he's doing no more. I want to hear about me. So um, we're going to try this new spread. And this is for the Divine Feminine. And we can also pull some energy about the Divine Masculine. But for all of my ladies that are on a brand new wavelength, they just don't want to. We don't give a fuck about the Divine Masculine. <laughs> what he's doing right now, we really don't give a shit. So... There's the intro, and that's what we are right now. So we're about to find out what's going on with the Divine Feminine. So right now, I just want to get some overall energy surrounding around the Divine Feminines. All of the women that are watching this video that are ready to heal, release, and remove anything that is not serving them right now. So Spirit, thank you so much for all your messages in the past, present, and future. Please give us some guidance for all of the Divine Feminines that are watching this video, that have gone through the time moment, that are now feeling like they're the fool, <laughs> like they have blind, unwavering faith. They know that it's something better for them once we walk past these mountains, because you've moved mountains for us, Jesus, and we thank you. So please give all the Divine Feminines that are watching this video, all of these strong beautiful women. Please give us some overall energy about what we can expect in the future. Thank you so much for all of the strength that you have supported and given us throughout this journey. Thank you so much, Spirit. Thank you so much, God. Thank you so much to our ancestors, and thank you so much for the universe who divinely made this happen. Because sometimes, you know, we love so hard, we hold on to things that, um, uh, God and spirit and universe is trying to remove from us. So thank you for forcefully, for some of us that had to, it had to be forcefully removed. The tower had to come down. <laughs> thank you. And to all my ladies that are listening to this prayer, don't be scared of the tower. The tower and the death card is a blessing. So thank you. Uh, I know this is a long prayer, but thank you so much, God. Thank you so much, spirit. Thank you so much to our ancestors and our spiritual guides in the universe that have guided us through this path, through this journey. Please give us some overall energy. Please give us some guidance for the future. And please continue to give us blessings and strength along this path. Thank you so much for all your guidance in the past, present, and future. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right. Thank you so much. All right. Spirit, please give me some guidance for all of the ladies, the divine feminines out here that have released... And going through that Scorpio phase, okay? That death, and revitalation, and renewal in life, all right? We are in Scorpio, all right? And our card is represented by death. And like I said, don't be scared of when you see the death card and you see the tower, you know? Don't be scared of that because that means... You are releasing something that is no longer serving you and opening up the door for something better to come into your life. So rejoice in that, all right? That means new beginnings are coming. Thank you so much, Spirit, for that message. All right, what's going on? All right, that's the door to value. It's contract. This is the fifth chakra, Archangel Gabriel. This is for the throat chakra, yeah. Um, so I feel like right now, um, your overall energy for the divine feminines, I feel like, you know, there was definitely a financial loss that you possibly dealt with in this relationship that you just came out of. Um, I felt like that you might have undervalued yourself in this situation. And now I feel like you've overcome a lot of things and you've, stepped into your own power where you know your worth and right now where's though that door to value because i think when it fell out it was like this wasn't it it was like this but 
I feel like it should be like this because I feel like a brand new door to value is going to open up for you. But you need to take fine, keen look at any type of new endeavor that you walk into. Okay? Make sure that you are balanced. Make sure you that you are centered. Make sure that any contract that you sign yourself, that you get yourself into, contracts meaning any type of new projects, any type of new relationships, any type of new work situation, make sure... Listen, just like when you go to job interviews, how they interview you and you ask, okay, well, what are the benefits? Like how many paid holidays we get do? What what health insurance carrier do you have? What's the co-payment on that? Like, do I get, um, you know, dental and vision? Like make sure that you find, tune, look through these contracts, even with new relationships, even new partnerships, anything that you interview these people, you know? And you make sure that you, you know, and, and and if they got a problem with you asking questions, then fuck them. You don't need to be with them. Okay? Before you sign in any contracts with anybody, any situation, anything, you make sure that you pay attention. And you make sure that you're balanced and you're not going into a contract situation with a blindfold on. And the scales are not balanced. Do you understand what I'm saying? Make sure that you pay attention to the fine prints okay make sure that you don't ever undervalue yourself that you always know what your value is before you walk in any to in any new endeavor and always don't hold your tongue on shit because i feel like maybe in the past that there was certain shit that you seen in the fine print you say you know i don't really feel comfortable like that but you didn't say shit you see what i'm saying you didn't say shit and you let that be a little bit off balance and you kept your blind eye to that. Nah, fuck that shit. Say something, okay? Open up your throat chakra. Do not hold back, okay? If it's something that is going on and if it don't look right, and you know what I've been saying in my readings, in a lot of my personal readings that I've been doing for people, if it look like, smell like, walk like a duck, quack like a duck, bitch, if it tastes like a duck, Anything, walk like, look like, smell like anything from your past that remind you anything of the bullshit that you went from, that you were coming, that you're coming out of, where you felt like you were being undervalued and your daughter value, you know, you ain't had no money coming in. It was more going out than coming in. You understand? And the people that were in your realm were not even appreciating what you were doing. And you felt undervalued. Don't ever, ever hold your tongue again. Okay, look like what they say. If you see something, say something. If you see something, say something. If there's something don't seem right in that contract, say something. You see something, say something. Don't ever undervalue yourself again. And you always make sure that you are putting yourself first. Okay, so that is the overall energy that I'm getting for the divine feminine. You know, and she is paying fine tune attention. And I don't feel like she's going to hold back. And not speak up on things that she feels like is not serving her anymore. I don't even think she's going even... She ain't signing shit that don't look right to her. She's not investing herself in anything that don't look right to her right now. Nothing. absolutely freaking lutely nothing. Okay? So, spirit... Hmm. Let me see how I'm going to do this. All right. So let's get into the meat and potatoes. Now that we got the overall energy spread, please let me know how is the divine feminine feeling right now. Thank you so much, spirit. All right, two more shuffles. All right, thank you so much, spirit. <clears throat> Spirit, please give me some guidance on the Divine Feminine. Please let me know how the Divine Feminine is currently feeling. This is the nine single, nine of cups. No, actually, that was the, <laughs> that's the nine of pentacles, where it's single. That's the nine of cups, excuse me. And that's the tower. Spirit. And the Ace of Wands. All right. So right now, the way the Divine Feminine is feeling, all right, she, I feel like, you know, I honestly feel like the Divine Feminine is feeling emotionally fulfilled about this tower and this new beginning that is happening 
in her life, you know. I feel like right now, this is ultimately pleasing to her dad. I feel like this is the end, 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 end. The end, 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 end. I think this is like for real the death of a cycle this time. You know, like how sometimes it's like y'all break up, but it's like y'all really didn't break up because you know maybe a few months later y'all gonna talk, y'all gonna get back together. I feel like maybe this person has come back and it's just like, I think maybe this person has come back and, you know, try to come and give you some type of emotional fulfillment. Like, hey, what's up? I like the... I miss the way your panties used to, yeah, and just the way, I miss your curves, I just, I miss you. And I feel like this is a situation where normally you were fulfilled. But you like, nah, I didn't feel this just not even feeling this shit no more. If anything, nigga, you still would be fulfilled by being, with the thought of being with me. But the thought of being with you, I'm like so good on that. It doesn't even make me feel as giddy and emotional. And, you know, like normally the divine feminine, when the divine masculine come around, she just could not resist this nigga. Could not resist this nigga. And now it's like, I just, I don't even feel nothing. I just like, I don't, I, I could cut this off so easily. I ain't even need spirit to come through. And drop the tower down on me. I done called it myself, nigga, just so easily. I don't even want it because I got something brand new sparking in the flames going on in the background. You know what I'm saying? And the whole thing, whole time, I don't even really got no new man right now. But I just want one. And I know one is coming. And I've been thinking and I've been dreaming about this new situation. I don't even know what the hell he look like and smell like and taste like. But, bitch, I'm excited. <laughs> I'm getting fulfillment in that. I'm mentally overindulging in that, nigga. I don't want you no more. <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> Divine Feminine, y'all better go ahead. Y'all better go ahead. Did you pull your own tower card out, bitch? You better shut it. Stop playing with them, Divine Feminine, okay? Next question is, how can a Divine Feminine heal? It seemed like she already healed. <laughs> she already can she don't even care, y'all. Like I said, she done found her more to value. And like now, whereas though, you know, she wasn't speaking. She's like totally a whole new different person right now. A, like totally different person. Yeah, she done took her strength back. In the past, she was not being strong enough to stand up. And like I said, to speak up. Okay. I feel like it was a lot of cheating. It was a lot of deceitful behavior going on in the background. And I felt like she probably just didn't say anything just because she didn't want to argue. And I feel like y'all been through this cycle a million, million, million times. And I felt like it was just like, you know, I don't even have the strength to fight with this shit no more. You know what I'm saying? But with her having that lack of strength, it helped her become numb. Where it didn't even have to take any strength to walk away. It just, it just, it, it literally just, she just slid out of the situation like a piece of butter on a warm, on a warm knife. Like it just slid, slid. she just slid on out. You know what I'm saying? And it didn't even take any strength or anything because she was numb, completely emotionally numb. So you know what I'm saying? It's just like. She's at a point right now where I feel like it doesn't even take any strength to heal anymore. You know? It doesn't, it's not even taking any strength for her to get past this point of healing. I feel like because she's already there. She doesn't even need to put any more strength and effort into it because she's there already. All right, spirit. Go ahead. Give me some more. Give me some more, spirit. Please give me some messages on how the divine feminine can heal. Thank you so much. Please give the divine feminine some guidance and healing. All right, what is this? Is this the queen? Uh, the queen of cups. Remember who you are. Remember who you are. That's all I got to say. Remember who you are. Look at this card. Remember who you are. You are loving, beautiful, nurturing, abundant, caring, providing queen. Remember who you are. 
What I say, don't sign no contracts with no fuck shit. Because they have to show that they're deserving of you. You know your value, okay? You know your value. These men are dying to put their head in your bosom like that because they know that you're loving, desirable, nurturing queen like that. Don't ever give your energy to a fuck nigga ever again, all right? And that's why I said you don't even need the strength to recognize that shit no more. You don't even need it no more because you got it. Anything that look like, smell like, taste like, walk like, talk like, quack like a fuck nigga. You ain't even, you don't need no strength to walk away from that shit no more. You pulling your own towel out now. You don't need God to help you with that no more. Because you, you like, uh-uh. Mm-mm. I done been through it. I done, I could write a book about it. I don't need it. Look, we'll try and drop a book out. Try and drop a book out. I'm not taking it. Just give me one card, Spirit. Please give me one card. I'll, I'll read books later. I will read a book later. I promise you. When we get to the when we get to the message for the future spirit, if you want to drop a book, I'll read this whole deck if you want me to drop it. I promise you, spirit. I promise you. There's one more call for the divine feminine. One more call. Please tell the divine feminine how to heal. Give her one more call. Ooh. All right. Well, you want? You know, I'm not gonna argue with you, spirit. I'm not gonna argue with you. So, no, 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 do that, uh, uh, ooh, 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 okay. So, this here is, what is this, the Seven of Wands. The Seven of Wands. Um, so, this is basically, um, I believe that is someone that's like, you know, trying to sneak away. You know, there's someone trying to get away with something here. And I just want to make sure that I am not tripping here. And I know I'm not tripping. And that's exactly what the Seven of Wands mean. Ain't it there? Ain't that there? Let me just double check. Giving up. Being caught out there. Slander. Yeah, ill prepared. Yeah, someone ill prepared. Being caught out there and slandered. The odds are against you. Realizing it's not worth the fight. Possibly could lose against opponents. Yeah. So this is, no. So this wasn't the someone trying to get away with something card. But this is basically um, the Seven of Wands. That is like a, a battle. A battle. That's the end of a, you know. And this is in the reverse. So like I said, this is someone realizing that, you know, that it's going to be too much of a fight. You know what I'm saying? In a situation with the Divine Feminine. With the divine mask, and I think that they realized that it would have been too much of a fight to continue to try to put any effort in it. And I think that that's why she realized that she don't have any strength to continue to put up the fight with this person no more because I'm worth better. And this is a losing battle. I'm not going to win in this battle with this situation. The odds are against me. Do you understand what I'm saying? Because this person is not going to change. This person is not going to change. So that's why spirit is telling you to please take a moment and think. This is the Hermit card. Take a moment and think. And I know this, uh, listen, this is the retrograde time. I know this motherfucker probably coming back. A whole bunch of people from your past is coming back. You understand what I'm saying? Think before you move forward and have any communication. Look, value yourself. Think before you continue and engage with any goddamn body. And if... The shit is not for your betterment. Have no fear into making that verbally known and cutting that ass the fuck off. That's the death card. All right? The death card. Because this motherfucker was a con man. This motherfucker was a trickster. This person was just around for whatever could benefit you. I mean, for what could have benefited them. All right? And you look at this person. This person is literally trying to steal a lock of your head. Okay, don't let nobody come around and take pay attention to the fine print of the people that you let in your life. Okay, because they see that there's a big value in dealing with you. And that's why they were dealing with you from the beginning. And that's why when you left the situation, you left it a little shorthanded than what the fuck you came into it. Okay, because this person knew from the beginning. Look at this person. This person knew from the beginning they came around you just to steal from you. 
Do you understand what I'm saying? When they looked at you, they seen that you were abundant. They seen it, it, it was some way, somehow, some shape or form that they could benefit out of the situation. And I think I said that from the beginning. This person knew exactly what they were getting when they came to you, when they came to the table. They knew. You understand what I'm saying? And that's why at the end of the day, they are still fulfilled by you. Not only are you still desirable, uh, desirable to them sexually, but financially too. They know just being around you, you make them better. You make them better. It's something about your energy where you motivate them. You understand what I'm saying? And they benefit. And that's why I said this person might just be sucking your energy. You know what I'm saying? And it helps them put a pinnacle in their pocket because being around you, it gives them some type of energy. It gives them some type of confidence or something like that that don't, don't any of these other women got. And they need your energy to help feed them. You know what I'm saying? And that's why I say, you know, this person was just trying to get something out of you. You know what I'm saying? Because this person, it's, it's your energy that they were feeding off of. It's your energy that they were feeding off of. Not only that, but you are the queen of cups. And they knew that. They knew that you were going to nurture and take care of them. That they, and as long as they were around you, they ain't have nothing to fuck to worry about. Nothing to worry about. So in regards to your healing, again, I'm going to tell you. You don't really have to put too much strength and effort into this healing process. Because you're already there. You already know your worth. Okay? You already know your worth. You already know that this is a battle that you're not going to win. You're not going to win in this situation. And it's not because you're weak and you're not competent and, and you can't fight and endure the fight. It ain't worth it. You done came to the realization it ain't fucking worth it. It ain't worth it. I'm calling the death to this situation. I'm calling a complete ending to this situation. All right? Complete ending. Complete death and destruction. Death and destruction. Complete breakdown of the, of the tower. Complete just upheaval and dis destruction. Just cutting this shit out. Look, this man is in the back with an axe. With the, what? I done caught you out there. I'm done. And then look at the car, though. Look at, look, look at the car. This motherfucker don't even see this shit coming. Like, it's like, why is you playing with me? You already know how I go. It might have took me a minute to get to this point where I could just easily just drop the tower and just cut you out like that. But I can because you full of shit. You full of shit. I know the only reason I see now, maybe before I didn't see it. But I know now the only reason why you was really with me is because you could benefit something from me that them other girls couldn't give you. I got that sauce, nigga. And you know I got that sauce, nigga. You understand what I'm saying? I kept your ass saucy. I kept your ass lit up. I kept your ass, yes. You was looking good, smelling good, feeling good. And that's why you even had the bravado to even go out there and try to play on me and play around with me like that. Because I gave you, I gave you that fucking energy. I gave you that motherfucker sauce, nigga. And now since you ain't with me, you try to come back because you ain't getting that energy from none of these other bitches. You understand what I'm saying? But guess what? I'm, I'm hip to your ass now. I'm hip. I'm hip. And that's why I could just easily just call death to this shit. Nigga, what? No. That's why I'm trying to tell you. Divine Feminine, she's already in a place of healing. I don't even really feel like... Like I said, it's, it's no effort needed. It's no effort needed. Baby, you are healed. And that's why I'm trying to tell you, I don't, I don't, look, Divine Feminine don't want to hear about these niggas no more. None. It's about her. It's about her. But that's why you got to the point where you at now in your process of healing. You had to learn how to take yourself out and just cut and learn how to cut shit out and recognize a, 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 a scammer, a con artist in the flesh, okay? You had to recognize that for yourself. So that, that was part of your healing process. Spirit, please tell me what the blockages are for the divine feminine. What are the blockages for the divine feminine? Spirit, please give me some guidance in regards to the blockages for the divine feminine. 
This is a lot. This is a lot. Should I read all of this? This is a fucking lot. This is a lot. All right. So I just, I feel like right now your blockage is this, is money. Um, I feel like you're trying to figure out how to get your bag back. You're trying to find out how to be the queen sitting back on top of your coin right now. And that's your main focus in, in, in your blockage right now. And I feel like you're fighting to get back to where you were financially. Um, this is the Eight of Swords in reverse. I feel like, you know, you might possibly be fighting with um, some, as you can see, you see the devil lurking around in the back, don't you? Let me, let me show y'all. Y'all see that bitch lurking around in the back, don't you? You see this bitch lurking around in the back, don't you? All right? So, I feel like in regards to this, I feel like the Eight of Swords, you might possibly be battling, you know, with just like some mental blockages and, and, and is still feeling bound and trapped mentally to the situation. You know what I'm saying? That you dealt with with the Divine Masculine. I feel like you've just been thinking so much like about how much you lost. You know what I'm saying? How much you lost in the material sense. Like your time, your money. You know what I'm saying? Like maybe even after this person left, maybe certain shit in your house and just your foundation just wasn't even the same no more. I feel like you just been really battling with these mental thoughts and stuff like that. And I feel like right now you're in a point where you really have to let this shit go. You know what I'm saying? Let it go. Let it go. Because guess what? You don't even want this shit no more. You don't want it. You don't want it. So do not continuously to keep yourself mentally trapped about what it should have could is. I feel like you've been thinking about stuff that you overlooked in the past. That shit should have been so clear to you that you didn't see. You know what I'm saying? But that's helping your healing process. But at the same time, it's creating a blockage for you. You don't understand what I'm saying? Because recognize what it was that you needed to learn so that you could go forward and you won't make the same mistakes, but don't keep dwelling on it. Let it go. Let it go. Walk away from this situation mentally with just the clothes on your back. You don't want him. No, the situ you don't want him no more. You don't want the situation no more. Don't allow it to continue to control your mind anymore. You understand? Because I feel like you are still worried about and thinking about all of the secrets and things that, that that you found out about and it's a good possibility that this person might have came back around trying to offer you a cup of love again and it's just like nah nigga i still you, you not you ain't changed not only that i don't have time to be worrying about what the fuck is going on in the background with you you understand what i'm saying and i feel like it's been clouding your mind a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Because this person came back around with the same secretive goddamn energy. I feel like it's recharged and regenerated thoughts about the things that you've let go in the past in regards to this fucking low vibrational energy with this person. Okay? And it's like now you're having to learn again to stop thinking about this shit because you don't want this motherfucker. It's too much shit going on in the background. And this person is trying to offer you some, a cup of love that you don't even want no more. You don't even want this shit no more. All right? This is the King of Pentacles. Yeah, look. The Queen of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles. This is your twin. You know what I'm saying? This is your twin flame. This is someone that you thought was your soulmate. This is someone that you thought... You would have a strong foundation with. And yes, this person does make you weak in the knees like that. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, it's just like you're learning to release your power from this person. Okay? You're learning to release your power from this person because it's like they're still trying to come back with the same bullshit. They're still trying to come back with the same bullshit. And it's just like you're not about to drag me back into that situation. You see what I'm saying? Like... You trying to finagle me with the possibilities of you coming back around like, yeah, I'm the, I'm a king now. I'm a, no, you not. No, you not, Slim. You're not. You're not. This is the four swords. I'm not about to be even putting too much mental thought into this shit no more. I'm not. Because I don't want it. 
This is the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. I don't want it. And I know you're not going to do nothing but try to come back around and try to calm me and finagle me and scam me. You're a scam artist. You're a con man. You're a robber. You're a thief. And that's all you want. You want somebody to take care of you. You want something that you can financially benefit for. I know your secret now. You're not coming around me no more because you know I get, I'm the queen. I'm the queen of cups and the queen. This person seeing you as the queen of cups and the queen of pentacles. Not only was they going to benefit from you financially being around you. Because guess what? Because they knew that, they, that you was going to take care of them. So they didn't have to go out. Because you know what? A real man, if they, you know... If they got to step up and be a real man, they got to go get their own job. They got to keep a job. You know what I'm saying? They got to keep a house clean. They got to, you know what I'm saying? They got to cook clean. They got to do all of this shit. And, like, why do that when they can have you do it? You know what I'm saying? Now, times out of 10, you were the financial breadwinner anyway. You made more money than this motherfucker anyway. So this person ain't had to work as hard. So you have to realize this shit as a blockage. Like this person, you have to recognize this person for who they was, for who they really are. You know what I'm saying? And I don't give a fuck if they're trying to come back now and they're trying to talk about, oh, remember when this happened? Remember the like, sh who gives a fuck? Don't, I don't, look, don't let this person come around and try to cloud your mind with no bullshit. Okay? Because it was all propaganda lies and foolishness to begin with. I'm not saying the person didn't love you, but they love themselves more than they loved you. And this person seeing you as a financial and emotional benefactor for them. So, you know, I feel like your blockages is like this person do this retrograde. This person is probably coming back around right now trying to cloud your mind because they see that you're moving forward. And you continue to move forward. All right. And the next spread is how to move forward. I'm probably going to have to end up pulling out another deck. Yes, I am. That's the case. I need to clarify something. All right, Spirit, please give you divine feminine uh, uh, some messages about how to move forward. The Queen of Swords. Yes, you better. <laughs> Just Spirit. Yes, God. The Page of Pentacles. Yes, God. Look, you better come on, Spirit. Look. <laughs> I said, Spirit, how can you move forward by telling a motherfucker to get the fuck out your face? Okay? The Queen of Swords. Tell a nigga to get the fuck on. And any, like I said, anybody, what did I tell you from up here? Okay? Do not be scared to use your words. Use your words and tell a motherfucker. If it's something that is beneath you, that is not serving you, that you feel looks like, smells like, quack like a duck, walk like a duck, talk like a duck, tell him get the fuck on. You hear me? Tell him get the fuck. Give a damn. Shit me. Let me turn this light on. Spirit, you better come on through. Come on through. All right? All right? Because this is the page of pentacles. Don't be trying to come slowly and give me no offer trying to have me off. Look at this motherfucker. Do you see this bitch? Hold on. Do you see him? Does this look like somebody you can trust? And it's like he is drugging this bitch. Drugging her. Drugging her. Nigga, I will, I will fucking, I will cut your, nigga. Don't play with me like that. Don't come to me giving me no bullshit ass offers. No immature bullshit ass offers. Either you gonna come to me off some king shit or don't come to me at all. So listen, how to move forward. Anything that is coming to you with something less than you deserve, this bullshit, cut they ass the fuck off, okay? Because it's the five of swords. The five of swords. Listen, anything that is not worth your energy, that you know it's a losing battle, do not put your energy in it. Anybody that is coming to you with an offer or a message, with some juvenile kitty shit, not all some grown man shit, cut them the fuck off. You understand? The whole message for this whole spread, cut them the fuck off. You hear me? They coming at you with bullshit, trying to be slick, trying to be a deceiver, trying to be a slickster, trickster. Five of swords, this is somebody that 
is 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 like you cannot trust this person. This person will smile in your face and be behind your back doing cutting, conniving shit just to win at any cost. You understand what I'm saying? And they put a good mask on. They put a real good mask on. They try to make it seem like y'all on the same team. But all, all the while, they'll go behind your back and cut you out of the motherfucking deal so they can win. You understand what I'm saying? Cut that shit off. Anybody coming at you with some bullshit ass off, cut them off. God damn it. All right, this is the three of chalices. Yes, in reverse. Anybody's coming at you with some three-party bullshit, cut they ass off. Didn't I tell you that that's what this, this whole goddamn... Cut them off. Okay? How do you move forward? Cut motherfuckers off that don't deserve to be in your goddamn life. They coming at you with some third party shit. They want you, look, they want to celebrate and they want, they want it to be you and him and somebody else. Cut. Nigga, not only would I cut you off, but I might cut your ass going out the door. You might be going to motherfucking what? Your nearest goddamn emergency room. Get the fuck out of here with that bullshit. Alright? Two of Pentacles. Someone trying to juggle? Cut them the fuck off. Cut them off. Anybody? Look, last call. Anybody? Tennis shorts trying to stab you in the back. Look at this shit. You got you crying and shit. Crying. All right? Because they in the background doing this shit. Cut them the fuck off. Do you hear me? Cut them off. They, they giving you a low grade offer. Cut them off. They being sneaky and deceitful. Cut them off. All right? Three-party relationship. Cut them off. Juggling. Cut them off. They hurt you. Cut them off. All right? Spirit, you better come through. You better come through today. Spirit, last spirit, please give me, um, I cannot wait till I get my new camera and my tripod and everything like that. Look, Spirit, y'all have to make me open up a damn P.O. box, man. Especially y'all be inboxing me with all that love and shit like that, man. Like, I cannot wait till I get my new setup, y'all. So y'all can see these cards good. Because I know y'all love these cards. Y'all love these little nasty little freaky deep cards. Sexual tarot, the tarot sexual magic. Y'all like these cards. Anyway, Spirit, please give the Divine Feminine. This has been a very powerful message. Please give the Divine Feminine um, messages and guidance for the future. What's popping out? What's popping off? Boo, because you're going to have a lot of options coming up. you will going to have a lot of options coming up. Don't be distracted by this bullshit. And that's why Spirit is telling you to pay far close attention to the contracts because not... All of the options, not, not not everything that's coming to you is going to be something that is it you you really need to give your attention to and your energy to. So pay fine attention to the contracts, to the fine print. Always make sure that you pay attention to your value. You don't never undervalue yourself. And if something ain't serving you, it don't look right. I mean, don't look right from the onset. Don't even waste your energy on it. Open up your mouth and cut the shit off. But you are going to have a lot of options coming to you. All right? Just know that, sweetie. Just know that. Step in and stay in your power. Stay in your power. All right? The justice. All right? Just know. Don't think that there ain't going to be no justice served in regards to this motherfucker that hurt you. And that burnt your heart. You just continue to heal yourself. You learn them lessons that you needed to learn. Oh, justice will be served. It will be served. Do not think for one second that justice is not being served over there, honey. <laughs> I laugh. Do not. And don't worry about it. Do not wish that person the best. Do not let that person carry you no more down and no um, low vibrational energy. Even if this person come back around and try to piss you off, try to give you some low grade off, we be just trying to talk to you, period. Do not... Wish this person any ill will. Yes, this king, this king of wands in reverse. What is this? This knight of wands in reverse. The same person. Listen, this horn ass goddamn motherfucker right here. This horn ass motherfucker right here. He think he a king, but for real, he's a goddamn knight of wands in reverse. You a nasty horn ass sleazy ass little nasty little whore. Neighborhood dick ass nigga just trying to motherfucker gallop around offering your dick to everybody. Yeah, that motherfucker there. Don't think there ain't no justice being served, beloved. 
You live in your life. You just know, you focus on the options that you have in front of you. You don't focus on this no more. Justice is being served to this motherfucker. You just live your life knowing that justice is being served and you don't worry about that no more. You don't give it your energy. Don't wish this person no well because if you wish this person ill luck and bad, it's going to come back on you. Wish them good. Wish them good. Wish them good because this person is getting what they deserve. Do you understand? This person is getting what they deserve. You continue on in your light and in your glory. You do not wish this person no ill will. You learn how to forgive and release, okay? This is the chariot, okay? This is the chariot because you will be able to carry forth triumphantly. And just know that your life is in forward movement. It's moving forward. It's moving forward, all right? And it will be somebody to look, look after you and take care of you while you're sleeping and you're resting. You understand? Because you're healing right now. You were healing and you're trying to move forward and you're trying to develop and nurture the new life that God has set forth for you. Do you understand? You will be victorious, all right? You will be victorious. And all of this stuff that came out, all of this stuff that came out, let me read this. All right, and and your ex is watching you. And your ex is watching you. Not only is your ex watching you, but this motherfucker is stalking you online. Okay, and then mad because they're looking at all of the other people that is giving you attention online, and they're jealous. Mm hmm. Because this person didn't pay attention to you before. This person was not paying attention to you and was not giving you the time and attention that you deserved. Do you understand? All right. Excuse me. All right. And now this person, they really want forgiveness. They want to face the judgment. No, excuse me. This person. No, let me clear this up. This person is really not willing to face the judgment for what they did. But justice is coming. Justice is coming and justice is probably being served to them right now. And they don't really want to face you to deal with the judgment for everything that they did to tear down this family union but you know they they want to continue to have this love with you they want to continue to have this love with you but you don't love them anymore and for a matter of fact new love is coming to you because this person did not pay attention to you all right listen listen to me linda you will be triumphant you will be and this person is watching you. Not only is this person watching you, but other people are watching you too. And where this, oh, that person wasn't paying attention to you, other people are paying attention to you now. And they see that. And now they regret not paying attention to you. All right? But they're not man enough to face the judgment for what happened in regards to this love. They're not. They are not. But guess what? There's other people out here that see you as a star. Look, he's just like, please just pour your milk and honey all over me, baby. There is somebody online that is watching you. And this person has been probably watching you for a long time. And it's been watching you go through this transition and developing and blossoming into the empress and to the queen that you are. And this person, they see your potential. They see that you're a star. And not only that, because you are stepping into your, you are stepping into your star potential. You see yourself for what you, what you are. the queen of wands in reverse you know what i'm saying and i feel like right now maybe possibly on the internet you like posting like some little like funny catty ass memes like talking shit about your ex and shit like that and i feel like this person that's watching you i feel like they think this shit is funny <laughs> they like this this junk funny and shit right now she funny and shit but i see the star in her but it's like right now you being a little catty and a little little bitchy and shit like that little you know whatever Talking a little shit, you know what I'm saying, or whatever. But you know, this person likes that. They like that feistiness. That that you know. They like that rough rough around the edge shit, and they're just like you know. I think that you have mental clarity in, in regards to what you really want. I don't think that you're searching for any type of truth or any guidance in regards to the situation with the divine masculine anymore. I feel like you're really over it. You didn't lay your knife down on it on the, on the, on the table. You're not, you're not giving any more energy to it. And that's your clarity, that you're not giving any more energy to it. All right? I feel like you, you feel like the person that you were dealing with in the past, that this person 
did not have any spiritual guidance and was not didn't have any spiritual foundation and that's why they were out there doing the things and they were whoring around and i feel like you feel like you know what i don't even need any further guidance in the situation i'm firm and i know exactly what it is that i want and what i need in this situation and i have my own clarification and guidance look i have my own clarification i don't need any more guidance or healing from anybody i know what i want because i'm the high priestess this motherfucker thought that they were getting away with shit, but I have the keys to everything. This person, I got, look, I know everything. And I feel like you done came into your own power as well. I feel like you done, look, you see how you, your foot is rubbing the kitty and st stroking. You stroked your own kitty in this situation. You done, you done stroked yourself enough that you done stepped into a whole new different power, a whole new different dimension that you didn't even know who the fuck you was. You done became the high priestess, bitch. Right? And this is the Knight of Swords in reverse. Not only did you know how to learn, you know, you stepped into a brand new power, but I feel like you done became nasty as shit with your tongue. You done became nasty as shit with your tongue, and you done stepped into a whole new power where it's like motherfuckers coming at you with bullshit. Nah, I'm not dealing with that shit. I'm whooping your ass verbally and probably physically too nigga you want that smoke i'll give you that smoke don't come with me with no fuck shit i already know what you're doing i know all your secrets so if you want to come and get that ass whoop come on all right and you're the magician like i told you you done stepped into a brand new fucking power you done stepped into some brand new shit you done learn how to manifest okay you learn how to use all of the use the resources around you to to guide you to get whatever the fuck it is that you want you understand that you're very guarded and you're very protective of your heart, your mind, your energy, and your soul right now. You're like, ain't nobody just going to come to me with no bullshit. You understand? I don't want nobody that's going to come over. This is the Empress in reverse. I don't want nobody that's going to come around and cause a whole bunch of mischief in my life and not take no responsibility in what they're doing. I will not accept it anymore. You understand? This is the Four of Wands. I will no longer celebrate. I will no longer... Give a commitment to somebody that is not going to take responsibility for their actions and not going to take responsibility for their role as a man in this in, in my life. I would no longer accept it anymore. And that's your final resolute. That's your final resolute. Then I told you. Then I told you. I said spirit was going to make me read this whole deck. I don't read this whole deck to y'all. I only have very little bit of cards left. <laughs> I only have a very little bit of cards left in this deck. Y'all gotta read this whole deck out to y'all. Divine Feminine, and you deserve it. Look, y'all, I don't read this whole deck. And y'all deserve it. Y'all deserve that energy. Y'all deserve that energy because y'all done been through a lot. And these cards is basically telling you that you done stepped into your power, mama. Fuck that shit. I don't want to hear no more goddamn readings about what the fuck the Divine Masculine doing. Look, as far as I'm concerned, I hope the Divine Masculine is doing well. But I definitely hope that they are learning lessons in life. Okay? I done read the whole deck to y'all. Look at this, y'all. I done read the whole deck. Look how beautiful you are. You are a star. You are a star, honey. You hear me? Look, the whole deck. All right. So, I'm about to wrap this portion up. We're about to get into love, okay? We're about to get into love. So we can get some guidance for you for love in the future. This was a beautiful reading, you guys. Look, this is just the only, the only thing I got left. The only thing I got left. We done read this whole deck, y'all. And I appreciate y'all letting me do this reading for y'all. I really do. And I hope that y'all got some, some, some really true guidance and wisdom out of this. And I hope that y'all received some power out of this reading. Because I know I sure did. I know that I sure did. I know that I sure did. It gave me something. It, it let me know that the divine is, is proud of us. Ladies, the divine is proud of us. They are proud of us. I'm going to say it one more time because they told me to say it again. They are proud of us. God is proud of us. I want you to know that. Okay? And that was a powerful message for the future. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's how to move forward. Cut that shit the fuck off. Cut them niggas the fuck off. As soon as you see it, cut it off. What? What? Let me tell you something how powerful my God is. I'm sorry, y'all. Y'all have to know my God. Y'all have to know my God. Listen. And I know I cuss a lot and stuff like that. The Lord know I cuss. The Lord know I cuss. Y'all like that shit. That's he, you know, that's how y'all gonna listen. Y'all like my, my vulgar god dang mouth. <laughs> but y'all listening. As long as y'all get the message, that's all that matters. God know I cuss. He know I cuss. He needs somebody that's gonna reach y'all, that's gonna keep it real, that y'all gonna listen to. You hear me? Someone's gonna keep it real with you. Now somebody's gonna sit here and be, you know, you know, everything's gonna be okay. You know, no, 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 no. You went through this. This is why you feeling the way that you did, and this is why you did what you did. And be proud of yourself for doing what you did. What you did. It's still gonna be hard. Motherfuckers are still stalking you. People still coming around looking at you. They still gonna try you, but you stand in your truth. Okay, forgiving and learning. Love yourself first. Separation. Codependency. Good gracious, they just flipping over. Attraction. Give me two more, Spirit. Good gracious, I am missing. This could be the one very soon. Mm -hmm. Alright, we're going to read all of this. Spirit's telling me to read it all. All of this been missing. Found that you've been missing. Reconciliation. You know, family issues. So this is what I'm getting. I I feel, I feel like uh, it's a lot of things that you still need to work on in regards to forgiving and learning in regards to the situation with the divine masculine. Um, I feel like, especially if this person did come back around, like I said, I feel like it's bought back a lot of shit that you thought that you let go and then now that this person that came back around off this retrograde shit you realize that it's a lot of shit that you thought that you had let go of but that you really didn't um i think that for a slight moment you almost forgot to love yourself more to love your yourself first and i think that this person coming back around just peeking their head back around you might have felt that little slight flutter in your heart you know what i'm saying because you really did love this person but you gotta remember i gotta love myself first because this person ain't gonna ain't gonna learn nothing it's this not this person really didn't learn nothing and i think that that's what you've seen you know what i'm saying like you cannot forgive and learn somebody that ain't forgive and learn their own actions and what the fuck they did you see what i'm saying so it was just like you know, you realize for a quick second, like, goddamn, how can I move forward with somebody, even if they are coming back, and I, I still haven't seriously come to certain terms with certain shit, because I still see that this person hasn't changed. Look, you see how this person is looking over, like, oh, there, there, you'll be all right. But this motherfucker still ain't, ain't changed. You know what I'm saying? You had to learn... To love yourself first. All right? You had to learn to love yourself first. Because at the end of the day, this situation was going to turn into a separation again. Because this motherfucker is codependent on you. And that's probably the only reason why this person even came back around to begin with. Because this person is unhappy. This person is unhappy without you. And this person really dependent on you to be with you. I mean, um, to survive. And I feel like that's something that you need to learn to forgive and learn from. And I feel like it's something that you really, 
I'm not coming to terms with or having a hard time coming to terms with because you really don't want to look at it like this person was codependent and then they were just possibly using you. Because you got to look at it. If somebody is with you and they got you at home, but they're out there cheating with other people, some people just stay with you for security. And I know it hurts, but you have to come to terms and forgive that person for that codependent, con artisty behavior. Like I said from the beginning, and we said in the other spread, this motherfucker was a con artist. This person was around you because he knew that you was going to take care of him financially and emotionally. They wanted you, and they wanted to be out in the streets too. That's why you have to love yourself first. And don't ever let nobody come back around and trick you and finagle you with that same con artist, goddamn energy, and make you forget to put yourself first. Always put yourself first. And I feel like this person came back around, and I think you kind of, for a slight, just a slight glimpse in your heart, Maybe even gave it a thought, but as quickly as you gave it a thought, you said, ah, nah, nigga, mm-mm, nope, 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 I ain't even about to play with it. I'm not about to do this because I already know, I already know what this shit is about. This nigga is codependent on me sexually, and this motherfucker's only with me because of what I could provide and give to him, and that's, and that's not true love. That's not true love. You understand what I'm saying? And anybody that comes into your life with that energy, you need to separate them really separate with them really quick. Okay? Second row. <clears throat> I feel like there's somebody that knew was coming into your life. I definitely feel like there's somebody new coming into your life that you're attracted to. Um, and that this person could possibly be the one. So focus your energy on loving yourself and don't ever forget to love yourself first. And Forgive and learn from the stuff that you just went through, okay? Please, you have to so that you can be whole coming into this new situation because this one could be the one. This might be somebody that you already met or the person that you met might be someone new, but it might feel like, damn, I've known this person forever, you know? This one might be the one. And this situation is, is, is coming very soon. If this person is not already here, this person is coming very soon. That's why you really need to listen. Whatever this person from the past, your twin and came back around, they still lurking around. Let that motherfucker go. Don't let that motherfucker come around and bring no toxicity to your life. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. Do you still want to deal with this energy with your twin? Or do you want something brand new? Do you want a new love and a true love, okay? Because your twin does want to come back and, and reconcile, all right? This person does want to come back and reconcile, but you have to decide what it is that you want. You want to still deal with the same bullshit you've been dealing with, or do you want something new? All right? And it, you need to heal any type of family issues that's going on. All right? Especially if you have any kids with your twin. You need to come to a terms with this person, and you need to let them know, look, I ain't dealing with you on that level no more. I'm moving on. I still want you to be a part of your kid's life. We need to come to a point with this where we can be mature. Ain't going to be no codependency. You ain't about to be coming around here doing shit other than coming to see your kids, coming to pick your kids up, going about your business. You ain't lingering around here. Ain't none of that shit no more. Listen, and you need to be very, very look, what I told you, that queen of swords, <laughs> you better let it be known. Let it be known from the door. Because guess what? If this could be the one, don't let don't let nobody come around and try to sabotage or fuck up your shit. Mm-mm. Because you know that they'll bring that saboteur ass goddamn energy. Because if they can't have you, they don't want nobody else to have you. And they will come around and fuck that shit up. You better heal the family issues. You better make sure that you got very clear understanding where you stand with them, what you tolerating, and what you not tolerating, all right? All right. Because this person could feel like I feel like I'm trying to tell you this person that's coming into your life. This is someone that you feel like you've already known this person, but you don't know this person. And I'm honestly, I'm not seeing that this is someone that you already know at all. You don't know this person. And I damn near want to say that you haven't met him yet. You haven't met him yet. I feel like this person is coming into your life. But when he comes into your life, baby, you going to feel like y'all going to be able to just sit up on the phone and talk for hours. And I feel like honestly... You go like your first two weeks 
uh, y'all talking to each other, you're going to be exhausted. I feel like you're only going to be going to work with like maybe three, four hours of sleep because you're going to be on the phone talking to this person till like two o'clock in the morning. And y'all could have stayed up on the phone longer than that because you feel like you've known this person forever. And y'all could just talk and talk and talk and talk and talk. You just feel so comfortable here. This is going to be someone that you feel like that you've known from a past life, but you don't know him from a past life. Okay? Spirit is telling you to stay optimistic about your love life because I don't feel like right now you've just been through so much with trying to release and detach yourself from this toxic bond with the divine masculine that I don't feel like you're being that positive and I feel like the retrograde and all these exes coming back from your life, I feel like your mind is being over-consumed with the bullshit from the exes that you really are not being optimistic because only thing you can see is failed shit from the past that you're not being positive and having faith about you know the romance that god is going to give you but stay optimistic baby because i'm trying to tell you this person is coming and this is going to be like somebody this this person is really going to feel like your soulmate and I feel like you, one of the reasons why you're not optimistic is because this, when you broke up with the um, divine masculine, this person fucked you up royally with your money. I feel like when you met this person that you were financially abundant and you had a whole bunch of shit, but by the time you ended up ending this relationship with this motherfucker, I feel like you took a big financial loss with this person. And I feel like that you're allowing that to affect your emotions and your confidence in regard to you dating currently in your current state. Experience is trying to tell you, listen, all this shit is backwards. When this person comes around, give them a chance. Give them a chance. Give them a chance and keep an open mind. I feel like at first you 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 won't give this person a hard time. You really not gonna give them a chance because you don't know if you're gonna be ready to open your heart. But keep an open mind and give this person a chance. Okay, your soulmate may completely different from your usual type. And I feel like that's going to throw you off because this person is not the type of person that you would have normally dated. It's nothing like your ex. Guess what? Good. This person ain't nothing like your ex. Good. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to tell you my, my little thing because I have a fear of fat daddies. I don't like big dudes. I do not like no big dudes. And I feel like God going to try to make me fall in love with a big dude. And I do not. God, that is so messed up but i'm serious like i feel like god is trying to show me because it's i feel like all of the dudes that's been coming my way they kind of been on the fluffy side a little bit and it's like god is god trying to show me that i need to stop being so you know so picky you know and open up my keep an open mind because you never know like the fat daddies might be able to put it down or you never know lord you know and they soft cuddly and warm and tender and girl look i look i, I, I look i don't open my mind now i don't open my mind now i don't open my mind so listen y'all open up your mind and let me tell y'all, listen, y'all in your own power right now y'all it's your season for a reason honey it's your season for a reason, all right? And the same way that your ex is sitting up there stalking you online, these other dudes are stalking you too. And they looking at you. They saying, God damn, she fine, she supple, she tender, she juicy. I want her. I want her, okay? And your ex mad. Let that nigga stay mad, bitch. <laughs> I see y'all next one. Because we ain't do Look, this is about the ladies. And it's about our, our transition to betterment. Fuck with them niggas doing, okay? I see y'all next time.